Hi everyone, this is Jasmine and welcome to Live for Bikes. We have two different locations, one in Buena Park and the other in Bellflower, or you can shop with us online at liveforbikes.com. Today we are going to show you how to build your own custom track fixie frame. After you pick your color and size, we begin with the headset. We use a headset tool that presses the cups into your custom track fixie without damaging the paint. It works by compressing on the cups evenly as it is turned. Next, we will install the crown race. We use a tool that simply presses down on the crown race to fit snug on your fork. The crown race is where the bottom bearing will sit. Our next step is to install a star nut. The star nut is what keeps your stem pressed down which will allow you to then tighten the stem keeping your whole headset tight but still able to maneuver your bike. We use the Park Tools headset tool to install. The tool creates control over the star nut allowing us to hammer it into the fork properly. Next we will install the fork which simply goes through the head tube. At this time we then install the spacers. The spacers just create a space between the headsets. Then the top cap is installed and screwed into the star nut. This is what creates the pressure. But don't forget to tighten the bolts on the side of the stem. Next on our list is the bottom bracket. The size on the bottom bracket or BB is determined by the geometry of the frame. For most track frame, we use a 103 millimeter. We always grease up the threads which make it easier to install and protect the bike from water and other debris. The bottom bracket has reverse threads on the right side. Lefty tidy, righty loosey. This is because it keeps the crank from being over tightened as you ride. The left side is normal, righty tidy, lefty loosey. We use special tools that has the correct teeth to install. Moving on to the saddle. We first install the saddle onto the seat clamp. We do this by loosening the bolts as much as possible without taking the bolts off. The rails just go between the two clamps in the special grooves. Then we just tighten. Replace a little bit of grease on the post and on the frame. This will keep the frame from scratching the post and prevent the post from seizing or getting stuck in the feature. The wheels and tires. There are lots and lots of options for tires and wheels. We're going for a red and gold look on this bike. No particular reason other than just a nice color scheme. Tires are one of the most important parts of the bike. We recommend that you invest in the best tires you can afford. They make a night and day difference. Cranks are another part of the bike where you have lots of options and are all based on preference and what you're trying to accomplish. Most people choose by price. Some know what they want because they know what they need. For example, if you want an aggressive ratio, most common size 48 teeth. The teeth are very important because this controls your ratio, in other words, your gear. The chain is then installed using a Park 2 chain breaker. We don't recommend master links, they make the chain weak. The grip tape is installed from front to back. Sometimes we do back to front, this is up to you. Finally, we take it for a test drive. 